Okay, thank you, Chair. My name is Peter Hammond from Nokia Siemens Network. I'd like to, to join the others uh, who have applauded the Indian government and, in fact, the Indian people for organizing this, the third IGF. The facility and all the technical features worked well with perhaps the usual glitches on the first day. We all feel welcomed uh, by our Indian hosts and I would like to thank our hosts for their hospitality. We especially appreciate this hospitality in the wake of the terrible events in Mumbai and we all feel like family with our Indian hosts and sincerely condemn these attacks. Our thoughts are with the victims and their families. Coming to the evaluation of the IGF, you know, I have been very active both as a member of the multi-stakeholder advisory group in the first two years and as a MEC alumnus and volunteer during this year in shaping and supporting the IGF in both developing its processes and its contents. Allow me to highlight where I think we made progress in this grand experiment and where we can still do better as we go ahead. When we started to embark towards Athens, we didn't know what would happen. In fact, some of my business colleagues were quite concerned when confronted by some civil society advocates on the issues of human rights. Well, I think we made a lot of progress here. Instead of confrontation, we see collaboration. I participated yesterday in a workshop on humans and internet governance and engaging, I can tell you, is much more fruitful in the long run than shaming and blaming. I particularly enjoyed yesterday afternoon's session and this also showed rapprochement amongst former combatants Witness Patrick, who agreed with Milton. Or witness support for the statements of our colleague from China. Hello, Tang. Uh, so we are making progress here. We are all seeking no longer to make statements for publicity's sake, but the success of the IGF is to allow for this frank exchange of ideas where we see commonly accepted solutions for the challenges ahead. We've also made progress on the level of discourse. From 14 panelists in Athens staying still on the podium there for three hours, uh, we now have interactive dialogue and even debates between the participants from the floor, showing the high level of understanding that exists uh, in many participants. So clearly on all those accounts, the IGF has worked remarkably well. And the multi-stakeholder nature of the IGF, the nature of not having to come to negotiated outcomes, and the equal footing on which participants discussed with each other has surely contributed in large part to this. However, we can do better still in areas. We still have too many workshops, that's clear. We should encourage more workshop organizers to work together and to merge their workshops. Early announcement and encouragement, early deadlines will help to bring proposals in time and allow the MAC to encourage that. But clearly we need to provide for more focused interaction and less events competing with each other. Although I'm on record of promoting competition, but this is uh, no contradiction here. Also, I think we had the expectation um, that we would be able to go deeper in the issues and we did succeed, but only part. Um, we could do better for the IGF um, in order for the IGF to be and to remain relevant. We need to recognize that there are different levels of understanding among the participants and we may need to, to have some entry-level workshops and some graduate degree workshops if you may like uh, to use the academic uh, uh, comparison. Entry-level is to take those along who may, know, who may be new to the process and um, graduate level would be for the experts who expect more than just the general discourse that we have had in, in the previous years. So that is in order for everyone to seek to go the, to the level of depth in the discourse that they feel appropriate for themselves. The main session workshops were by and large successful and this experiment has worked in allowing workshop organizers to organize the main session workshops. There was a difference in the main session open dialogues however. Some were excellent, especially yesterday afternoon, the session moderated very ably by Jeanette and Chris. I encourage that we further study whether this could not be a model or a template for future debates and open dialogues. However, other open dialogues did not work as well, especially when the moderator didn't take the time to prepare adequately. On content, I think the issues of access and openness, of diversity, multilingualism, of security, safety, human rights and privacy, of critical internet resources and human capacity building are still important and relevant. And the next two IGFs should again seek to go deeper in the issues of relevance within these broad baskets. Uh, for us as a company, these issues are not just of an academic nature, but they affect our business, 
uh, especially, of course, the access business, where we are developing concrete solutions to bring Internet to the next billions of people. As we go forward, we should seek to encourage similar engagement of multi-stakeholder dialogues on the national and regional level, such as those that we have heard about from the Latin American, African and European regional dialogues. Again, Mr. Chairman, allow me to thank the Indian hosts, also yourself, Mr. Desai, the Secretariat, Mr. Kumar, the translators and the scribes to make this IGF an extraordinary success. Thank you.